it's good to have good ventilation this means you get as much of air from outside uh, mix it inside the cabin and then flush it out uh, so some of the ways in which this can be done are by either having the heating uh, system which takes in fresh air from outside and then have a window through which it can be flushed out another way is to have windows open so the benefit of having windows open is that if you're riding at a uh, a few 20 miles an hour or, or faster then you can flush out a lot of air just by the speed of the car so as compared to just having the heating or air conditioning on this mode of having windows open allows to flush more air out the best configuration we think is to have all windows open and if possible fully open if this is not practical then it would be good to have two windows open and preferably have one of the windows to be on the rear and one of the windows to be on the front. What we found out from our computer simulations is that the air enters through the rear window, turns around behind the rear passenger and exits through the front window. And in this process, you are able to flush out many of these uh, aerosol particles inside the cabin. So if you were to have barriers, as, uh, as is the case with many taxis and Uber and Lyft rides, you can inhibit, uh, you can reduce the transmission through larger droplets. By larger droplets, I mean um, uh, sub-millimeter size droplets, but still larger than five microns or so. And these are the kind of droplets that you release when you cough or sneeze uh, or talk loudly. Uh, so having barriers does help against that. Uh, decontaminating surfaces helps against the fomite um, transmission and the third mode of transmission which is airborne would not be limited too much by these barriers because there's always uh, gaps and holes in barriers and you can still get air passing through them so that's why we think about this.